everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tammy2 here. So today's build is going to be this um, like penthouse that I built um, where the Fountain View penthouse is in the art quarter, arts quarter in City Living. Um, so I turned it into this more like industrial looking sort of converted loft. Um, I really wanted it to look like it was originally something else, and which is why I kept the basic shape um, of the of the original building, so the building underneath, um, which at first looked quite boring, but I had a couple of ideas that I'd seen on Instagram, on like some uh, interior design pages that I knew that I wanted to put in this in this house, so like features I wanted to add. Um, so I'm sort of figuring those out, and then I try and make the outside look a little bit less boring as well uh, in a few minutes. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of glass in this in this uh, apartment. Yeah, I guess it's an apartment, um, but it's also a loft in the way that it's got this cool um, second layer that's kind of only a little bit of the whole floor, so it's more like a mezzanine in a way. And yeah, it's just really it's a really cool space. I think um, I think whoever lives here has obviously put a lot of work into it and converted it from this like old maybe I don't know abandoned warehouse thing I don't know if a warehouse would be that high up but like maybe some sort of storage or something I don't know um so my idea was that these windows I'm placing now which you have to really think about if you're going to use them before you build because they're three tiles wide and it's kind of annoying when they don't fit and um, so those I thought would be from the original building and the what the other ones I'm adding the clear windows are have been newly added by um, whoever it was who made it into an actual livable place. Um, so yeah, you'll see them a lot um, sort of side by side and that's kind of the story behind them and it also just meant I didn't have to sort of pile them on um, just rows and rows of them which just didn't look that realistic or that great. Um, so yeah, the stairs are on the side and they have this interesting like space around them. I used a lot of these um, are these called rafters? No, what are they called? This that I'm placing now, the sort of like the thing instead of the wall. Um, instead of using fences to go across, I use those a lot and I use them as like beams or rafters of the roof. Um, and I just really wanted to give it a lot of texture inside as far as, um, you know, just details on the wall. The, maybe the walls look like they've been painted over and there would definitely be um, a lot of lumps and bumps. Like on the wall, there would have been like wires and you know, just all the the normal stuff that a house compose, is composed of, but this time it's exposed, so it's on the outside of the wall, it's not inside. Um, so I added a lot of detail later on um, using concrete wallpaper and um, some more pillars just here and there. And yeah, I really wanted it to look like really raw and authentic, kind of that kind of texture on the inside. Um, and you just see here I've added the bifolding doors or that like the concertina doors and um, obviously they're not doors um, but yeah it's just a really cool thing that um, I've seen a lot of simmers do to be honest um, and yeah I just added the windows and then delete the, the walls that they're on to give it a more like realistic look um, but yeah you can see now the space the main living space is quite huge it's got this amazing like double height space and the bedroom's going to be at the top in that little square that juts out. So um, I do make it slightly bigger later on just to add a bathroom upstairs. I definitely think it's handy to have a bathroom upstairs as well as down, so I did that. And here I'm just sort of squaring off this outdoor section because when you have the, obviously a part of the room open, the game will like read it as an outdoor room so that all the lighting in that room will be slightly blue. Any furniture you put in there will be slightly blue. Um, which, you know, depending on if you care or not, you know, can be annoying. But I wanted to section it off so that it was its own room um, and there's a lot of like glass doors that go through to different sections of the house so it's it doesn't stick out at all in this house I don't think it actually works quite well. Um, here I wanted to add some older kind of windows and um, these the ones that I'm holding now are also visible on the rest of the building underneath so they actually do exist on the building and I thought well it's quite realistic that we might have some old windows some newer windows and then even newer windows so there's kind of like three stages of windows and I just wanted to add some detail and some depth to that and some dimension I guess um, and maybe a story to why it's been uh, renovated so many times or whatever so um, I added the lift in this sort of corner where you come straight up to the stairs um, I kind of usually struggle with where to put the lift just because I always want it to be in the right place and it's in the place of a front door really so 
you don't put it facing out like a front door so anyway I put it there um, and I like it there actually I think it's a good place for like when the postman comes up it's not too in the middle of the house and you're like in your pajamas like oh hey you're here um, <laughs> but instead it's kind of out of the way um, so here's where I'm adding some more like I wish I knew the name of those I've totally forgotten um, like beams in the roof which is what they're meant to be um, and it just adds a lot of texture when you're in live mode and if you go into the cinematic camera by pressing tab you'll see a lot of detail if you like swing the camera around all of the angles are just there's so many different ways to look at the house or the inside and yeah it just makes it a lot more interesting and like I said it gives it dimension so um, I'm, I really like how those looked and they're a bit thicker than the fences um, than using like the thin fences so I decided to use those instead I actually tried a lot of new things in this place I think well as far as like furnishing I tried to furnish how I don't normally furnish so I tried to use things that I maybe wouldn't use or um, not as many items so I didn't furnish it that heavily and I mean you'll see it's kind of got a very um, probably a different vibe than what you'd expect from the outside of the place so here's where I'm gonna probably pick up the um, the concrete oh no it's not here anyway there's a concrete oh there there it is so this was added in a patch um, a short while ago and it's like you have to um, show hidden objects cheat to, to find it and it's like these um, concrete columns and they look perfect for this kind of build especially like the amount of different industrial builds I could do there are too many to think of so I'm definitely going to be doing more because there's so many different options and varieties there's a lot of stuff in Sims 4 that works in that kind of tech um, context so I'm going to be using those again but you can see here in this house I've used them like one strip of wallpaper at a time to look like an actual exposed column in like the inside of the building almost so yeah I decided to use them that way and I just thought they looked so cool and they left and they gave a bit more texture to the walls and then a lot of the time I'll use pillars next to them as well just to give some more like um, dimension to it so I have skipped ahead now to where I'm furnishing the inside um, I had to actually pause and figure out what I was gonna do with the outside before I picked up the recording again just because um, on my laptop at the moment I don't have as much space so I, I just wanted to figure it out and I wasn't happy with the outside but you'll get to see some shots of it um, as we're furnishing now and it's much better I, I like it a little bit more but I still prefer the inside um, so for the kitchen I wanted to mix and match lots of different um, like counters and cabinets so I've got the cabinets from the cool kitchen stuff I think the first counters are from Jungle Adventure and then the middle ones are obviously the base game industrial ones so I really like the fact that this island counter was a lot more industrial has this amazing wood texture on the top and then the actual side ones blend in um, or look better against the red brick I think they contrast a little bit more whereas the wood looked a little bit too samey um, and I just love that pop of blue fridge as well it just looks so cool and it's just sort of in an, in an angle um, in the corner there on its own um, so yeah you'll see that I add actually quite a lot of color in this build um, I really really wanted to use this yellow sofa I don't know why I just thought it would look really good and here I'm trying to make some cushions for it with the classic chair trick um, but it makes the sofa a little bit useless I think with the sims being able to access it so I end up not doing that and yeah I just add some color here and there that just really works and um, I could have just gone all like neutral and brown and leather and um, metal but that's how the like that's how the walls look I didn't want it to look um, flat I wanted the the furnishing the furnishing to be like the first thing you realize when you walk in the first thing you notice so it, it has to sit on top of it instead of just with it if you know what I mean um, so yeah I, I tried to sort of add things that would um, pop out or um, just look really cool in that space and as I said it's not heavily furnished it's kind of the same amount of stuff you might have in a smaller house but it's all kind of stretched out into this big space so it's not like cluttered or anything like that it's more very quite minimal in a way and there's definitely some like bohemian vibes uh, maybe a bit of rustic kind of influence um, which probably when you look from the outside it could look like it's going to be really high-end which it totally could be um, I'm really tempted to refurnish it in a couple of other ways because in my head there are so many ways I could furnish this place um, I just love the space in general. I would maybe do a more fashionable looking way to do it, so all black and white or um, I don't know, just there are so many ways. So 
But this, the, the way it turned out here, I'm really happy with it. It's quite different to how I'd normally furnish. So this was another thing I've never done before. I figured why not just use some um, technically like sofa chairs on the dining room or on the dining table. Um, obviously you can't use them, but you've got four other chairs there to use, so it's fine. And they just look like really nice accent chairs either side. So I just thought, um, why not use those? Um, so I'm adding some more detail to the kitchen and I do this trick that I did in my London townhouse build. In one of those townhouses I use these um, like panels that are from get to work I think. And I just use them to neatly tuck away all the kind of essentials and it just makes it a little bit neater on the surfaces. Um, and like I said I didn't want it to be too cluttered so I just wanted it to look like it's used and yeah it just gets them all out of the way on the wall. And then I did add this copper sink, which I thought was a nice nod to the whole industrial feel, but I think I did change that in the end and I used those in the bathroom instead. Um, I cut the bathrooms out of the footage just because I thought um, I wanted to show other things in that space of time, so you'll see them in the screenshots. Um, and yeah, here's an example, this wall, of how I've sort of layered two different shapes of pillars or sizes with some radiators, some columns, um, some like the, the concrete columns from Debug and the radiators at the bottom just look really realistic, I don't know, it just looks really nice and I've added that painting sized up so it just fills that space really well. Um, yeah, so here I'm adding, yeah, this light, it took me ages to figure out which light to add but I didn't want it to be anything too cluttered here, I just wanted it to be a couple of items on the wall and here's where I'm adding sort of like a divide in this huge space, because obviously it's a really long kind of drawn out room. So um, already before I even started building I knew that I would be using these uh, bookcases to sort of divide out the space and these are perfect, these base game kind of um, industrial themed things, there's a few things like that including the desk I'm about to place that are just really nice, the texture of them is really great, they're not flat items or anything, they've got a lot of detail in them which is what I love best about the Sims, most Sims items that, I'm, that are my favourites is the texture so um, yeah I love them and I added those, flipped one around so it's got a bit of I don't know, it just looks a little bit different. And yeah, and I added the desk as well to match. So I also added a piano downstairs if you saw, and I added it in the brown swatch that I rarely use, and I just thought it looks really cool, and maybe the sim who lives here likes playing music, and imagine the sound of that music going up into like the second le layer, it would be amazing, or level. It would sound really nice. So the bedroom is, again, really different and maybe a bit more like relaxed and bohemian. It's not high-end and matchy-matchy at all. There's two different different there's two different bedside tables um, and the bathroom is just sort of directly behind. Um, you can see there there's like a little half wall and you go behind in there. So yeah, it's just really like um, odd, oddly shaped, but I like that. It made it a lot of fun to furnish and to sort of decide what I was going to do with it really. So. It has kind of got a Brooklyn, New York feel, you know, I guess. Um, oh, and this is the outdoor area, so I actually do add a basketball um, net as well, so that does actually become a bit of a basketball court, which is actually enclosed, so you can safely play there, um, or it's opened up as like this sitting space outside. So anyway, that is the end of the build, you guys. Um, enjoy the screenshots, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!